So if somebody had a blowout this morning, she got pretty much as sick as I did the other night, but this morning and all over the truck. So, well, yeah, we had to come in here and hose off, to say the least. In there, right, Diamond? Huh? In there, right? She didn't have a good time. <laughs> so, y'all know, this is where we shower. Whole little bathroom to ourselves here. Currently have puppy pads all over my truck, just in case. Because this morning is the first time she has ever had an accident in here. She seems to be really sick with whatever made me really sick yesterday. It showed me this morning just how unequipped I am to deal with a blowout basically. So I don't have a mop. I have a lot of wet wipes. And I basically went through a hundred percent of them today cleaning up messes. But, and I, I put kitty litter all over the floor hoping it would dry out some of the, you know, stuff. That didn't work. So I had to get creative. I used, uh, I put body wash on the splashes of brown all over the floor and then I put down her towel that's usually on the seat right here. I put it over top and then poured water onto it so that water wouldn't spill into the cracks of my floorboard or anything. It'd be soaked up by the towel. Basically used that as a mop and then I threw it away. It was disgusting and brown. Just like Diamond. My beautiful white dog was a nice earthy brown from the waist down this morning. She is now exhausted after having to take a shower. Just to give you a rundown of how showers work out here on the road, basically anytime we go fuel, like we fuel at Love's a lot, uh, when I fuel at the pump I'll swipe my loyalty card and every time I get 50 gallons or more it adds one shower credit to my account. So all I've got to do basically is walk in there and tell them I need a shower and if if you don't have points, if you don't have a card or whatever, it's in here. It was sixteen dollars for a shower, so that's where the cards come in handy. You gotta have your, gotta have your cards because you can swipe the card and it's totally free. Use, it uses the shower credit that you get when you fuel. And then you saw what the uh, the nice shower rooms in there look like. So that's how we do it. Yeah, sometimes our bathroom spots aren't very glamorous. It's just whatever space we have between the back of the truck and whatever fence we're parked in front of. We are finally back on the road after both of us being sick for two days. And we are actually going to head back towards home. But we've got to pick up a load first. I just grabbed an empty trailer. I had to drive like a hundred miles over here to grab an empty trailer. And then uh, I gotta go pick up that load and then we will be heading to Olive Branch, Mississippi, I think. No, not Olive Branch. One of the one of the northern towns in Mississippi. Dropping off there. And then we are heading home so I can take Diamond to the vet because she's still pretty sick. Uh, she's she's up and moving around, she's doing okay. But um I think she might be running a low fever just because when we go outside I know I said the word <laughs> uh, she's been panting even though it's I mean it, it to be fair it's 84 degrees but even me as a, like a fat guy who's sweating through this I'm not like burning up or anything it's a pretty mild heat but she's panting like basically as soon as we go outside and you know uh, other other bodily functions aren't doing so great so we gotta we gotta take her to the vet. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and make this trip back. Take at least a day or two at home. So, at least if we go home, she can sleep in the bathroom or something. Where when I have to mop up in the morning, it's a lot easier to clean than here in the truck. Yeah, I know.
I am backed into a dock over here now, picking up this load that will take me back close to home. Right, this is what's called a live load, where I am backed into a dock. We've got the green light, red light system, basically red light, green light, whatever. Where it's it's blinking green now, because they're they're not in there. But whenever it turns red, or rather they'll they'll turn the light red whenever they go into it, so that I know I can't go anywhere, or it could uh, it could hurt somebody. So whenever they're done, it'll turn back to green, and then I'm good to pull out and go back and check in in the office and get all my paperwork and get on the road. I'm hauling water bottles, and it is very heavy, so we're going to have to stop by a scale at a truck stop on the way out. A lot of highways, too, so I am once again consulting the Atlas. Let's see if they're all truck safe. This is exactly why you're always supposed to double check your routes and not just trust the GPS. It wants me to take 53 to uh, Highway 14, getting out of here. And look here, on this top line we have Florida 14. Oh yeah, I said I said 15, I went 14. So here we have on the top line, Florida 14. That's uh, Southwest Harvey Green Drive to Florida 53. What does that line say? Harvey Green Drive. On to 53. So we're going the opposite direction, so this specific direction, it might be the other way that's restricted and not necessarily this side, but it is always best to err on the safe side when you run into something like this. So I'm just going to double back and go back the way I came, Highway 6 over to uh, Interstate 75, and I will take a roundabout way. So I am right here at Lee, so I'm basically going to take a roundabout way. I'm going to go back the way I came, which was Highway 6 over to 75. I'll take that down to 10, and I'll follow that west. Now, these red dots are way stations, so they're going to check to make sure I'm not overweight on anything, which means I'm going to have to stop right here. There's a truck stop right before I get back on the interstate. I'm going to have to stop there and use the scale to make sure I'm uh, not overweight on any of my axles. Like I said, it's always best to err on the side of caution when it comes to these kinds of things. And there's a benefit to, there's always a benefit to doubling back anyways, and that's just the fact that I already know the road that I came from, I know that it's good, that it's safe for me to drive on. And in this specific instance, that means I already know that there's a truck stop there anyway that I've got to stop at so I can get weighed. So it's, it's fine to take a little bit of a time penalty just to be safe. My steer tires are under 12,000 and the other two axles are under 34,000, so we are good to roll. Didn't really like the way that the GPS was suggesting just because it's a bunch of highways. And uh, typically as a truck, you try to avoid those and stay on the interstate as much as possible just to avoid red lights and extra traffic and all that stuff. So uh, I wanted to go here and double check the route and see if maybe I could come up with a better one than what the GPS is suggesting. Best way to do that is saying I'm starting... Where am I? So I'm starting at about here, south of Aldosta. I'm going up here. So the best thing you can do is you can take a straight surface of some kind and connect the two points. And just kind of follow it from there and see what the straightest path is that you can get back it up so we can actually see everything. Go on down. Go on right here. It turns out the way we we're already set to go, which is from here, going up 75 over to 82, all the way all the way to Birmingham, pretty much. Take 65 up into town, and then 22 all the rest of the way, which is exactly what I was gonna choose for myself after looking at the Atlas. Again, from bird's eye. The camera angle's not good. Starting about here, gonna go up, go 82 all the way over. Here's Birmingham, I'm going to go up and over 22, and boom, that's about where I'm going, just south of Memphis. And that's pretty much exactly what it was already suggesting, so never mind. Just overthinking it. 
we wind up in some sketchy places for bathroom breaks sometimes, so definitely helps to carry a flashlight. Well, I've asked to deliver this load early so we can get home a little faster, get to the... Will you stop that? And get to the vet a little faster. But, uh, since we're not going to be to where we're going 24 hours in advance... Hey! Weirdo? It's going to be more like, uh, 7 hours early. So, I think what Diamond and I are about to do is, uh... Do some overnight driving because uh, I've still got five hours left that I can drive. That might get me 250 miles, maybe 300 if I'm able to keep my speed high enough. Uh, so I guess we're just about to push through it. Because my delivery time, yeah, that, that actually, actually, that's why my delivery time is tomorrow. Well, technically, Monday morning at one o'clock in the morning. <sighs> this, this is gonna be fun.